Hey everyone, John Moran here again with another episode of things that you didn't know you can do inside of Google Ads. <laughs> In today's episode, we're going to be talking to you about creating a localized campaign. Now, a local campaign is much different than what you may interpret. Traditionally, a local campaign would be you know, a display ad around a small area, uh, creating new YouTube videos around certain segmentations around a small area. Um, no, Google's new type of ads are around location in your Google My Businesses, or sorry, your Google My Business locations. And so the ways that this differs from a traditional campaign is it uses much more automated type of features inside of Google Ads and also in Google My Business that if your Google My Business account profile isn't built out very well, you're gonna start to see some, some negative effects from that. So first thing you wanna do actually before starting a local campaign is make sure that your Google My Business account is updated with imagery, maps, hours, phone numbers, links, Make sure you have reviews on there, everything that you can do to make your Google My Business locations look great um, before you actually start one of these campaigns, because that's going to be the kind of make or break. Um, make sure you have your, your topical, your categories, everything inside there to help Google understand what your business actually does so that it can use it in a local campaign. Um, what this does is it uses a um, it uses four networks, so it's display, it's YouTube, it's search, and it's also maps. And what it will do is set its own sort of targeting, its own geographical area, its own keywords. And all you really do is just kind of build what your map ad, your search ad, your YouTube ad, your display ad need to look like, give it a daily budget, and then say, I want to optimize for people clicking driving directions, calling the store for my Google My Business location, or actually in-store visits. And this is actually really cool because it's Google is now going to be able to track who comes physically to that location offline. How will they do that? little bit of a mystery they basically say we're ensuring the privacy of these people but uh we're just going to give you uh statistics about who google believes actually visited i'm sure people are using google pixel or using chrome browser on their phone and they're logged in and they're walking around and you have your gps location turned on they're probably going to find you um but uh google you just can't get away from google that's just how it is uh but with um some other ones actually kind of like a lot more um Driving directions i think that's a really great one um driving directions are really a solid conversion action to to monitor because someone's clicking on the driving directions, um, you know that happened, that took place, and they're probably trying to find out where you are or, or getting a location, getting driving directions to go visit you. So it's a really good one to to watch. Um, that's kind of my favorite. I'm still on the fence about the uh, Google tracking the people that are going into your store, but let's take a look. Let's just kind of show you how this is how this is set up. <clears throat> so this is a one of our clients that has uh, 16 physical locations, and that's where Google says um, you want to be at least more than 10. Uh, you want to have at least 10 locations, so some of the smaller onesie two stores are probably not going to be um, as beneficial as this, this type of campaign. You want to have at least 10 stores and at least 30 days, and you also have to have thousands of, of clicks per month. So this account doesn't have that, um, but I can't tell you the, the client's name, but I just want to kind of tell you that's the caliber of this client here. So we're actually running e-commerce for them. They are a shoe store. They have 16 shoe stores and 16 physical locations. And while the e-commerce is doing really well, um, spent 5,800, made 26,000, um, 450 ROAS for the last 30 days. Um, we're going to show you how to use this account to build a local campaign. So the first thing you want to do is click on the plus symbol here and go into new campaign. You're going to see a new one called local store visits and promotions. So drive visits to local stores, including restaurants, dealerships, you know, physical brick and mortar locations. And this campaign type is going to be local. It's much different than app or display video or search or, you know, search display shopping, search display, you know, discovery video. This one's going to be called local. So it's a different campaign type. Obviously, the campaign type is going to be local. That's all you have to choose from. Traditionally, you know, you're like, well, do I want to do a display or video or do I want to do like a shopping uh, discovery ad? Um, this one is local. So that's that's the unique one here. Then it's gonna ask you, what locations do you wanna include in this? Now, you're not gonna say a 10 mile radius around my Google My Business, you're just gonna say market these locations. Um, you can use um, location groups. So I went ahead and created a location group uh, called All Stores, um, so 16 locations. <clears throat> I did this so that I can hide the name of the client, but still kind of walk you through this. So that's my location group that I, I created here. And we're gonna click continue. And now this one here we're you know, called, um, local campaign, you want to give it a name. Um, I would recommend choosing the language that is most appropriate for your business. Um, if it's in the United States and you're you know, an English speaking store with English you know, languages, 
uh, your signs, your store name, that kind of stuff, you would want to choose English. And it's important here not to choose all languages. You might want to choose all languages, but it's been featured on display uh, and YouTube. You might end up having an English speaking ad on a non English speaking um, placement, like a website or something. So make sure you choose the right language. The average that you want to uh, spend per day, you know, I'm just going to use an example, say $20 a day. Your needs may vary. You might have locations. You might be just starting out. You might be saying, no, I've been in business for 20 years. And I want to drive $1,000 a day to my locations because that's where I got my business. You know, it's up to you. <clears throat> Bidding, we're going to use maximize conversion value because that's the only one that we get to choose from. Uh, and you'll see that store business is blanked out right here. We're actually in the, the process of being approved. Now, here's a quick tip, too. If you don't have an account representative, you need to hire an agency that does, uh, or you need to fight really, really hard to get an account representative at Google. Usually, you know, MCC holders, account uh, uh, companies like us, we do have dedicated account reps that we work with at Google that we can call up and say, hey, get this account approved. They say one moment and they approve it. And then, you know, it's a little, a little hard on that, but that's essentially how it goes. Um, and then we can have store business being tracked. But right now, we're doing uh, call, clicks, and drive directions, and you see that they value them at a dollar. So this isn't an actual real value. You can go into your um, conversion account and then, uh, sorry, your conversion settings, and then go and change the values. They default to a dollar, that's okay with us, um, but that's just gonna be using maximized conversion value, and we're equally want as many drive directions as call clicks. So in this example, they're both important. If you wanted to say drive directions are much more important, you know, you can have this value be $10 and your call clicks to be a dollar and then maximize conversion value will make sure they get more driving directions than call clicks. And so that's just how that, that algorithm works. You know, if you want to set this end date, you can. Um, if not, you just do your normal start. <clears throat> and then if you have a local product feed, can't click on this right now because it will expose my client's name. But if you have a uh, local campaign uh, product feed, you can use that here because it'll actually also do shopping as well. So let's save and continue. Now this is where you would set up your uh, your ad. So this is actually creating a local ad and this ad is gonna be shown on each one of these four areas. So maps, display, search, and YouTube. <clears throat> now I'm gonna call this one, um, you know, I'll just leave ad group one for the sake, just cause that's gonna be that's what we're gonna be calling it. But you can have multiple different ad groups if you wanna test different headlines, different promotions. Uh, we can just call this one standard. But if you said, hey, I have a 30% off sale that's running for, for next two weeks, Put that in your local ad. That's going to be something that is going to be really, really great. If you have a 30% off store-wide sale, place that in here. That's going to be a great local ad. If someone's looking for a you know, shoe store near me and then they see on the map you have four different shoe stores and yours says 30% off site-wide or you know store-wide, that's going to be a great promotion. Think about seasonality here. Um, you have a store that is a Halloween store. You might have sales during Halloween, Christmas, Christmas stores, you know, those types of things. You can do tons and tons of different things with, with these type of ad groups. But think about the purpose of why, what you would want someone to see rather than just you know, I'm a business here, sell them a little bit, you know, tell them about what you can do and, and tell them about your, your great offers. So I'm just going to do one for a shoe store, quote unquote. Um, but what we'll have final URL is going to be, you know, shoe store.com. It's not actually the client name, <clears throat> but this one's going to be, you know, 30 off sale. We're going to say that this one's going to be our, our sale ad. And so uh, headline, it's going to say, wide selection of shoes. I'm just going to use one headline for right now. 30% um, off store wide promo. Uh, and then call to action is going to be, you know, you can have shop now. Now let's go with this. You're going to be able to choose image and logos. Um, you can scan a website if you want. Uh, I'm going to do this actually. I'm going to go to Nike.com, not our client, I wish, that'd be awesome. Um, but we can use some some images here. Uh, so we can use this one uh, as our landscape image, which would be great. Um, we can use this one uh, as a product image here. Let's see how many do we have. I think we need to have, there we go. Um, and then let me just see here, adding a video to Nike. Great, we'll use that video here. And then if you want to use advanced uh, URL options, you can put a tracking template so that you know when the people visit the store, they came from this local campaign. Highly suggest doing that, especially if you're tracking UTM parameters or if you're having campaigns and analytics. Set up a UTM, um, final URL suffix at least, um, you know, UTM underscore uh, campaign equals local. Um, that would be, 
that'd be a great one to use um, if you wanted to, because this way you're just like, oh, this one came from our local campaign. But now you can kind of see on maps, you can see how it pops up. I know it's probably going to be a little hard to see because it's a little smaller video, but right now it shows my logo, which is just a shoe as an example, on the map here. And then when you click on that shoe, it gives you your ratings. It gives you wide selection of shoes, 30% of store promo, shop now, and it shows my image here. Um, that's how you'd be showing up on the map. If you're a chiropractor, if you're a restaurant, if you're a hotel, if you're a car dealership, whatever it is, if you want to show up on the map, this is how you tell people like, Hey, click on me, come find me, click on the driving directions where I'm 30% off store wide, really, really awesome way to promote your local business. Um, display again, this is just going to use, um, you know, a YouTube video here, or you might use a display image. This is just an example. If I scroll through, you probably see some images. Yeah. Um, but display just like a traditional display campaign, but this is going to be matching people who are looking for what your Google My Business says who you are. And then you can just say 30% off store and promo. And then you can even click directions on display to get driving directions to your location because it's a local search. Really, really cool feature here. Search going to be kind of like a, a way to promote your Google My Business location in search. So if you ever search for something and um, the first one that pops up is actually Google My Business and then you scroll past it and then you find the other you know, ads and then your other organic listing. Sorry, organic, you're like number seven now down the page from this new feature, but uh, obviously it's free traffic, so way better. Um, we have seven and not pay for it. But for the PPC campaigns, this is a promotion for your Google My Business to be at the top and kind of command the page locally uh, for your keywords or at least for your brand name um, and, and get more people to discover it. Sorry, my contacts getting really dry. Uh, and then finally on YouTube, um, this one's gonna be going to a localized audience that are in the similar industry, like looking at, you know, shoe reviews or shoe, shoe stores, uh, best Nike shoe. If you have, you're a Nike distributor and you're, someone's looking at a Nike store, uh, or sorry, a Nike shoe video and they're you know, two miles away from you, your video will most likely pop up to that person and say, you know, wide selection of shoes. Maybe you say like wide selection of Nikes. That'd be one of your ad group, have Nike be an ad group and then run a promotion for Nike. You know, a lot of different ways that you can set this up. I'm just using some examples. Uh, and then you would go ahead and click save and continue and you would be confirmed uh, on the next page to say, would you like to run this ad? And then you click yes. Um, so local campaigns are really awesome. The really, really cool part about this is when you can track how many people click driving directions or call the store, or if you wanted to hire a company like us and submit to see in-store visits, I would recommend testing that out too to see how that actually correlates to, did you see an increase in your business? But you can trust that these are going to local people they have interest because they're actively researching or planning a purchase or a visit at least of a store and they are interacting with your ad. It's, it's just a way to just command localized markets. Um, and I think that this is something that if you have, you know, at least 10 stores and you're looking to really drive a lot of business to those stores and, and really make it, uh, an impact in your localized market area is something that you should, uh, should try. So, Thank you so much for watching. This is John Marino Solutions 8. And if you found this video helpful, please you know, subscribe, hit the bell notification, like, comment, share, do all the good things that everyone else tells you to do because um, it does help. And <laughs> we're trying to get to a thousand users so that we do YouTube lives and take questions on air. So um, yeah, thank you very much. And I really appreciate it.